Hello friends, today we are going to install D-Link Eagle Pro AI series model R15 router as an access point. Now in my scenario, I have DIR825 which is my existing router and I want to connect 825 using a LAN cable to the R15. So let us start the configuration. So firstly what you have to do is you have to connect your laptop wirelessly or using a LAN cable to the D-Link R15 router by default the, the name and the password is written at the bottom side of the router. Now once you connect you need to open up a browser and you need to enter 192.168.0.1 you need to hit enter you will be able to access the D-Link page. So once you open that the it will prompt you to enter the password which is the admin password and is mentioned at the bottom side of the router so you need to check it and you need to press it so once you open that you will be getting the setup wizard like this you need to click on agree click on next now since we are configuring as an access point uh, we need to complete the setup wizard as a router and then we need to log into it again and we need to change the configuration as an access point so let us know how we have to do it so first we need to click on router mode and click on next now here you need to go through the step by step procedure Install your device, configure your network and Wi-Fi settings, set your router password. Click on next, click on I understand and want to continue. Select DHCP over here and click next. Then it will ask you to set up the Wi-Fi name and a password. You can click next. You can set the admin password. Click next again. Select the time zone and click next. And then you can click on keep my device up to date automatically. So whenever there is an update for the firmware, it will give you a notification in the router login page. You just have to click on update. So this will be the summary. You can just have to click on next. Just wait for some time, let the settings save. While the settings are saving, you may see uh, the lights changes on the D-Link router R15. The light may go to orange. That means the router is getting saved. The settings are getting saved and the router is getting re rebooted. So you just have to wait for some time. Let the LEDs come on properly. And once the LEDs are on, uh, white and ready, white and steady. So then we can continue the process. When you are configuring R15 as an access point, the most important thing which you need to understand is uh, what is the IP series you have from your backend router, your existing router. Because when we configure R15 as an access point, we need to change that IP in the range of your main router. Since once we uh, select the mode, it will automatically disable the DHCP on the 615. So you, you need not manually disable the DHCP. We had other routers in the past where we normally disable the DHCP uh, and uh, you know that was a traditional way but since this routers are AI routers, AI series routers there, is, there are specific modes uh, wherein you have to select and then the router will configure as a access point. Just wait for some time while the settings are getting saved.
now you if, if you can see on the r15 router all the leds will be white in color and they will be steady so you can click on ok you can enter the password which you have set up just now once you log in you have to go to settings then you have to go to operation mode and here the operation mode you have to change to extender and then you have to click on save Just wait for 20 more seconds. All right. So once the settings are done, you need to click on OK you need to log in again so once you log in you have to go to settings again go to the extender option okay and select ethernet here so there are two options one is Wi-Fi and one is Ethernet normally Wi-Fi is selected if you want to uh, connect this router wirelessly to your main router which is an extender but we already have that mode when we are configuring in a setup wizard so for access point we do not have a separate mode for it you need to come here you need to uh, click on that extender and then you have to click on Ethernet so once you select Ethernet you can change the SSID whatever you want and you can set the password so I'm just changing the SSID as R15AP password I'm keeping as uh, dealing 
yes so once the router is in extender as an access point okay so once uh, you can see there is some changes in the lights of r15 it will indicate uh, the specifically the van led the van led will turn to orange it indicates that the router is not online all right the reason why exactly currently since it is an access point so we have not connected my existing router cable to r15 currently so that's the reason it says that the router is not online it has been configured but it is not online so once this is done you need to connect the cable from your main router to the r15 lan port any one of the lan port so there are three lan ports and one will be the van port so you need to connect the cable from your existing router to the r15 on any one of the lan port so once you connect that cable just wait for some time until that internet led goes to white steady white so once that is white you need to scan for the network name which you had given for the r15 so i have i had given the name as r15 ap so you need to click on connect enter the password as so i had given as d link 1 2 3 4 and then click on next yes so once it is connected you will be able to access the internet from r15 okay the internet will be coming from your main router and it will be extended by the r15 so you are now configured d link r15 as an ap as an access point okay so if you just check you are getting a gateway from your main router that is 192.168.0.1 that means the router has taken the ip address from your main router so now you want to check if you want to check what ip address has taken by the r15 so you need to log into the page So once you log in, go to network. So here it will give you the status as existing network connected, and if you see the uplink router here, this is your R15. There is a cable connected. There is a tick mark. That means the internet is working. You can see the status network status connected. Connection type is Ethernet, and then there are two connected clients wirelessly. So, if you want to check what IP DIR eight two five has given to R one five, you can check it over here. You can click on Advance. So, see the IP address is zero dot one zero one one zero. If you want, then you can click on this and you can set as a static IP here, and then click on Save. So, in the future. R15 will be able to access using this 0.110. Right, so this is how you configure R15 as an access point. So let us just wait until the settings get saved. Then we'll try if we are able to access the R15 using 192.168.0.110. That means. the router is online and it is ready to use and if you just have a look on the d link router which is r15 you uh, you can see that the leds are steady white it may happen that the wifi led blinks that's because there are some connected devices to it but the wan led power led it should be steady and it should be steady white
If it is white, that means the internet is ready uh, on the router on R15 and it is ready to use. So let us just wait for 20 seconds more. Yes. So once this is done, we just put 192.168.0.110 should be able to access the R15 page. Okay. And in the same way, if you just try 192.168.0.1, which is my primary router, which is 825, I should be able to access the page. So this is 825 and this is R15. So 825 is my main router and R15 I have configured as an AP, as an access point using a wired connection. All right. That concludes uh, this configuration and uh, thank you for watching. Thank you.